Taylor Moore. And on the Arkansas tee from product. Greensboro, North Carolina, Alex Smalley. Gently slide to his right. Mm. And the one thing you get when you get these first groups off the green. Not quite half the distance, but he did just watch his playing companion miss it left. And he drips it in beautifully. So a couple of pars and a bogey here at four. Taylor Moore tee shot. He played his college golf at Arkansas. One of his teammates just got his first win on the PGA Tour a couple weeks ago. Nico Echeverria. Taylor Moore for birdie. Struck it with confidence. Needs to go. Last. I don't understand why you think he can't get to 17 again. No one's getting to 17. I promise person. you he'll get to 17. That's okay. Week. That is, uh, that's an old fashioned don't, wager. Don't give in to him. <laughs> Listen, I'll take 17 over. <laughs> no way. Man, this might be hanging just a fraction right. A little bit of spin should funnel right on down to the hole. It's kind of bunker shot. That you practice hours and hours for results like that. Very good results indeed. And this is over at the six. Taylor Moore, chance to get to four under. A good putt there, Dan. This hole just doesn't have the teeth that it normally has, but back to back birdies here yeah. for Moore. And Taylor Moore, good second shot in here, and a short putt for birdie to get to five under. And does. He's made six birdies here in round two and three in a row now. He is closing fast. It began the week 58th in the FedEx Cup. Continuing to improve on that. Had a really good West Coast. Four top 15s. He's missed just two greens today. What a ball striking performance. More at eight. Mm. Well, he's going to miss his third. And on the down slope in the bunker, that's a poor miss. Now Taylor Moore, Let's see if he can get some spin on it. Not a whole lot. At the eighth, Danny, he bunkered in that left bunker. Tough shot from over there, and like a few players earlier in the day, we saw that ball break right, uh, break to the left, up the hill. Disappointing. Here's Moore a moment ago, his third at this par five, and let's see what he does here. Ooh, yeah, well, that was played well. You saw how close the ball he hit it. That was a driving sort of shot. The sand didn't come way up there. Now back to one and Moore's birdie try. Okay, yeah, had a little left to righter there. Not quite a gimme. Another 216 yard par three. Taylor Moore, who's at five under and hanging around. Six under here in a moment or so. Back over 15, Taylor Moore to get to six under within one, and he drills that home. Back to back birdies for Taylor Moore. All right, now Taylor Moore six under at 17. Birdie two of the last three holes. All right, over to 17, Taylor Moore. The long birdie effort. This would tie him for the lead as well. This would be an unlikely make. Yeah, we've just seen it time and time again. It's just so hard to get it back up to that whole location. Okay. Taylor Moore is one back, but he's in the rough with his second here from 144 yards. That's probably to be expected there. One of these uh, tricky putts coming back down the hill at 18, Zing. Yeah, it's just really fast. Has quite a bit of break. Boy, did Taylor Moore judge it. He almost tied for the lead. One Corn Ferry Tour win. 
best finish on tour tie for fourth. Could have just tapped it in there. There's Aaron Fleener, JT Poston's caddy handling the business. <laughs> but they're good. Par there for more near birdie. Ah, really nice shot there from Taylor Moore who played collegially at Arkansas. Taylor Moore pushed it very close to the lake off the tee. Now playing a flyer out of that rough and getting the there roll up with that back to location. This is a tremendous second shot out of that heavy rough. Really well played. Got out of the plug. Look how open that face is. How about how close his stance is? Yeah, way to the right. Really nicely done right there. Starting to see that as a trend, Brad. We want more. Right now. Trying to hold something off. Right at it. What a shot that is, Taylor Moore. Best shot of the day at the 12th, which, by the way, is the hardest hole on the golf course right now. To get to eight under par, and no problem. He's five under on the par five, par fours this week, so he's played the par fours very, very well. Only 178 yards. Moore working on a two under round, just two back, trying to make something happen, coming down the stretch, and he's hit a gorgeous shot in here with a chance to get into that tie for second. Taylor Moore with a great opportunity here at 15. Five feet, 11 yes. inches. Best shot of the day. Moore to nine under, one back. Taylor Moore here on the tee on 17, the hardest hole on the golf course. He's hit 14 out of 16 greens in regulation. Oh, he doesn't like that. 14 out of 17 now, and a long bunker shot across the green. Off an uphill lie, ball above his feet. He saw the board behind him. He knows exactly where he stands. He hasn't been very good out of the bunkers this year. 136 and sand saves this year, but that was unreal. Well, this is a gimme for Moore. What a great bunker shot as he walks to the 18th hole here, tied for the lead. Taylor Moore. And he can bust it. Driver is the easiest club in the bag to hit. He took a crack at it in the left. Well, he's going to get a break over there. Let's see what Moore can do with this drive that went well left at 18. Has some trees to maneuver through. It's a 167 yard shot. It, oh, it's going to go down in the low area. That will uh, be a tough two putt. I don't think you'd ever clip one off of there in this situation. And Reed was tied for the lead as well. Just like Moore is now. Got to get the speed up. It's pretty good, Zing. I'd say he hammered that putt. What a two putt. How about that score? 67 today. That is some big time golf on the Copperhead course. Plenty of speed. It almost hit the stick. It had so much speed on it. Well, Shank wasn't going to leave that short. And Taylor Moore is a PGA Tour winner in an unlikely scenario coming down the stretch.
he closed really strong and we did it, sweetie. <laughs> passed everybody up in the end. You happy? <laughs> and there's his fiance, Lexi. Clutch birdie is on 15 and 16. You are now a PGA Tour champion. Describe your emotions. Yeah, it hasn't really hit me yet. You know, just in compete mode and then, you know, just watching the guys finish and maybe in a playoff, maybe not, but it's, uh, it's, it's so cool. So awesome. You know, it's what I work for and, and just uh, really excited, not only for me, but for everybody around me and all my team and um, yeah, cool moment. Well, congratulations. A lot of family members here with you, Dan. We'll go back to you. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here. And to subscribe, click here.